I will tell you as much as I know. And Elvis wanted to come to Europe. He told me, he said, if the colonel and them don't book me over in Europe, then I'm going to book myself. So he, and I'm, again, I'm using Elvis's language, so I hope you don't mind. He said, that's the reason I bought that big ass plane. So I could travel and go to other places. So he wanted to come to Europe. He wanted to come to England. And uh, one of the reasons that uh, we couldn't, that I was told by the people who booked it. See, Colonel Parker made the deal, but the other people set up the bookings actually. But we had, we, uh, Elvis was paying uh, money to William Morris Agency, to the people who booked our show, and it was about 40 to 55 percent of Elvis going out before he got anything from the different people with him. But Elvis didn't mind. They, the reason they told me, because I asked uh, uh, Tom about it, not Tom Dixon, but the, uh, Tom, I can't think of his last name now. Huh? Not Tom Parker, good Lord, I can remember his name, Tom. <laughs> oh yeah, Andreas Von Quick. I was in his home just the other day. I was in Redder doing an office condition. But uh, where was I? See, you get interrupting these things. I'll be there. No, it wasn't Tom Diskin. I, 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 it's Tom Hewitt. Tom Hewitt was one of the people who owned the people who broke us. And Tom told me, he said, well, Charlie said, you know, the Colonel won't let us do any shows outdoors, like in the stadium. And he said, quite honestly, there's not a place big enough in Europe we could play to where because Elvis is expensive, he had 85 people on the tour. His expenses, before he, they even sold him tickets, was $30,000 a day on tour. Now, if it rains for a week, you still pay for those buildings, you still pay the salaries and everything. So Colonel Parker would never take that chance. And he always plays indoors, which actually, with the amount of people Elvis had on tour, was a very wise thing to do. I do think that uh, after, I, of course, I didn't know it at that time because I hadn't been to Europe that much, as far as England and the places were. I think Elvis could have come to Albert Hall. And it, it, it holds about 8,500, doesn't it? 75, 8,500? Well, see, we could come there and did like a month of shows and there'd be people all over Europe. He'd have 7,500 7, people twice a day for a month at least. And he'd been able to do it, but I didn't know that at that time. And I don't think Elvis knew at that time. I don't even know if Colonel Parker knew at that time. But the reason they said was because of the capacity of the buildings that just weren't large enough. And that's that's all I know, and that's my opinion, and everything. Okay? Thank you. Okay, I know the